Back today is Dia de los Muertos, the Mexican holiday where families reunite with their relatives who've passed on. Yeah, it's also a celebration of that reunion with food, drinks, and more. This morning, Team 12's Jen Wall <coughs> introduces us to another special piece of the traditions of honoring the dead. Good morning, Jen. Yeah, good morning to you both. So this morning we are showing you the La Catrina. It is the very detailed skull painted faces that you see, especially during Dia de los Muertos. And this morning there's a team right here in the valley that recreates these every year. The beautiful skull painted faces. <laughs> When the present connects with the past. It's a new design. The path to get there yeah. isn't always black and white. She usually doesn't have a plan. She just gets inspired from the moment. Today, historic inspiration is brushed across Camila Guzman's face. I'm the one who usually supports her, her model. It's taking Camila back to the 1900s. It feels amazing. It's like I'm supposed to be doing this with her. <laughs> when the fancy skeleton with the dazzling hat first came to life. I really like the sentiment of Jose Guadalupe Posada. The Mexican artist behind it was a controversial and political cartoonist. Well, no matter the flowers, the dresses, the richness, finally we all turned out to be skulls. It's a bold image of how Mexican culture sees death and the afterlife. One day we will meet up with our family, with our grandparents, our mothers, our fathers. The artist here. We like see each other onto our eyes and like we just connect. The person who first gave Camilla her life. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing watching your mom do so many things. Dayal Guzman waits until the very end. <gasps> oh my God, mommy. <laughs> to reveal her latest masterpiece. Thank you. This mom sees the life her so latest La Katrina is bringing oh to her daughter's oh my face. Goodness. Oh, I love it. I don't want to take it. <laughs> I loved Camilla's reaction there. So the whole time she didn't know what her mom was creating. She kind of just makes it up as she goes. And it's always beautiful. And Dayal teaches classes here in the valley. So you can learn how to make the La Katrina as well. So coming up live here at 630, we're going to be with the Mesa Art Center. And we're going to show you a different tradition. But it's all tied in with Dia de los Muertos, the stunning altars. And there's another artist right here in the valley that creates these and you're not going to want to miss it.